Hey everyone, I'm Ellie. I'm a second year psychological and behavioral science student and today I want to talk to you guys about how to make friends at uni. First, I'll share my experience and tips about how to make friends in the course, then in halls, and then in societies and sports clubs. So the most obvious way to make friends would be through your course. I was really lucky to be in a really small cohort, so we're only about 30 people, and it was really cool to kind of have this community that you always see in the classes. We were a little bit unlucky with being first years in 2020, but we managed to create this tradition, um, which started out as having like a cultural dinner together in like a small group, to also just meeting up every Friday after class, because we all had like three sets of classes on Friday and we would wait for like the last class of people to finish and then we'd go on a walk or we'd go to a pub and make sure that we switch like switch around the people who sit together on a table um, to get to know everybody in the beginning and it was a really really cute tradition and it was super nice to you know, get those first impressions of which people you get along with. So another way to make friends for your course would be through group projects or study groups. So group projects are actually quite nice because you get matched with people who maybe you wouldn't usually choose to be with, but that's how you get to know new people. And it doesn't mean that like all of them will be your best friends, but it might be that there's one person who you usually wouldn't hang out with and you realize, well, they're actually quite nice. And then you, you have a new friend through that. It's also really cool to form study groups because obviously it's a benefit of, you know, studying because you need to do it anyway for the exams but it's also really cool for us for psychology for example there's so many things that you can relate to with your own culture so we learn so much about each other but even if you study mathematics there'll be time for you to like chat about you know your personal life and stuff so it's always nice to have a study group um, because you really get to know those people better than you would just in class so overall if your cohort is small then really take advantage of that and like treat it like high school and like make sure to have a lot of socials with those amount of people um, but if your score is big then you just have to like try to and don't get discouraged by the number there's always going to be like this proportion of people who also want to meet other people in law or other people in management so just try to be that person who organizes these things or find somebody in your department who does this and then you'll have the best time um, hanging out with those people. And having friends in your department is just the best thing because you're so much more motivated to go to class, you're so much more likely to speak up in class because you know everyone. And for me, it really gave me like the, the high school vibe, which I really missed at university at first. So I think, yeah making friends in your apartment is definitely something you should you should aim for. And the second quite obvious way to make friends is through your halls. I know unfortunately not everyone will be able to be here, but for those of you who are, which is a big proportion of first years and also second years, sometimes the third years, um, it is so nice to be in halls and to be so like constantly surrounded with people. And I think like there's just a few tips that if you're coming to university you, you can try to follow. At the beginning you really have to force yourself to be like that person who approaches people and just say hi to them because everyone will want to make friends like most people come here without knowing anybody so it can be quite daunting at the beginning but just try to you know find those group of people that you can have dinner with or like like you can walk to campus with for example what i did in the first week i would like knock on everybody's door on my in my hallway i know that some people really wouldn't want to do it but honestly it's really nice to maybe at least do that for one room or for one person because as soon as you have this one other person you can you know walk up to new people with it also makes it much easier so if, if it's really uncomfortable for you to like just knock on people's doors or walk up to people then maybe just try to you know get the courage to do that for one person and then you have like your buddy who you can like meet new people with without having to be doing that alone but obviously unfortunately everybody lives in halls or maybe there's also some halls that aren't as social maybe because of covid or for other reasons um but there's so many other ways to make friends so a really obvious way would be through sports clubs so basically usually people have like one to two times of training a week and then oftentimes on Wednesday, there's training and then a social and then they go to a club together. Personally, I'm not in a sports club, but I know that it's an amazing way to make friends because it's just, you know, the same people you see over and over again and you socialize a lot and you also have that team spirit. So I think that's definitely something you should consider joining because it's also obviously super, super important to be active. But if you're not that much into sports or if you're not really into the drinking culture, which not always, obviously, but like often companies like the social events at, at sport clubs, um, then societies are the thing for you. There's almost 200 societies, so basically something for everyone. If you're looking through the website and you can't find any societies that you're interested in, you can also make your own. For example, I'm still waiting for somebody to please open a Taylor Swift society. I know 
Lucy has so many Swifties. I was so shocked when I came here that I feel like every third person actually also likes Taylor Swift, which I'm so excited about. So please, if you're watching this, please make a Taylor Swift Society. I will join you very happily. A really great way to make friends is also through cultural and religious society. For example, there's the Islamic society, the Christian Union, but also the Pakistani society, the Austrian society, the Dutch society, where, by the way, you can also join if you're not, um, for example, Dutch. It's really nice to have this community away from home um, because oftentimes the cultures we come from are quite different from British culture, even though obviously LSE is not the best like representative of British culture in general because we're 70% international students but obviously we still live in London now so it's, it's different from home then it's even more important to be able to you know have this food and listen to the music and speak your your mother tongue for a while um, and it's also just a great way to make friends and when it comes to societies you'll not only make friends by being a part of the society like a member and going to the events but you can also make really good friends by, by joining a committee and like taking on a leadership role or another role um, there's a few good, really good friends I made through like working together in a committee because you obviously get to know each other better and you spend a lot of time um, like planning stuff but then you get to like have fun at the events together so basically there's a huge variety of ways to make friends in societies and sports clubs and definitely sports clubs can also be like enjoyed if you don't drink that's definitely not like a, a standard assumption but Obviously, if you if you generally want to be in that environment, then maybe cultural societies might be like exactly the thing you like. But try out everything and then you see what you prefer. So overall, I think there's like three categories of how to make friends. First of all, in your department, whether that is a group project, in class, as a study group, or just like by trying to organize social events with your classmates. Um, definitely make that group chat and be that like annoying person who tries to, to organize events because like that's the way you get to know people. Somebody has to take the responsibility. Then in halls, you also kind of have to push yourself. Maybe if it's only the one person you find who you then can like, take along to walk up to new people. And you know, with living in halls, it's not only about having those people who you can walk to campus with or who you can have dinner with, but it's actually like a support network that if you put in the effort at the beginning and obviously also over time, it's so nice to have like somebody like the floor above you or next door or just like on the other end of the hall who you can go to if you have a problem. Like it's obviously about having fun, but it's also about trying to establish like this like family away from home. So when I cry, I know I can go to like, the person living opposite me or like the person living a few floors above me but obviously if you don't live in halls you can also create that support network and those like what they call like little islands in all the different places so maybe have like a little island of somebody you trust in your class and have somebody from a society and then maybe in halls or if you don't live in halls possibly in sports clubs and lastly it was the societies and sports clubs so definitely join a sports clubs um you'll you'll find your like sport family join any society whether it's cultural or whether it's a, the album society and finally, I want to say that most of us are at uni for three years, right? So it's quite a long time um, and you're growing as a person and that doesn't mean that you're growing at the same speed as other people. Some people might grow quicker or slower. So it might be that the people you meet at the beginning were really great friends at that period of time, but then you might develop into a different you know, direction and have new interests. And it doesn't mean that the people you meet in first week will be your best friends forever. And it's also very unlikely that you meet, you'll become best friends within the first weeks, which is something that I'm always like, um, you know, at the beginning you spend so much time with people, but you still don't have this deep connection. So it can like both way feel a little bit frustrating, but just don't worry too much and try to, you know, approach and meet as many people as you can um, and, and find those people who, who you get along with. So finally, I think that you shouldn't worry too much about making friends before arriving here because most of us will be in the same boat and arrive here without knowing anybody. So um, it will happen naturally. You don't have to worry too much about it. But I hope that these tips help you a little bit and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.